Hello, today we're going to talk about diesel motors and surging. This particular unit right here is surging due to lack of fuel. It's starving for fuel. This may be a cause of something that's going on with you. It's pretty simple to explain. The motor runs fine and all of a sudden it dies down. It just picks back up and dies back down. Uh, pretty interesting situation. Uh, this is where I started to diagnose the system. I started basically what I'd consider to be in the middle. I started right here at the fuel injector pump. I started right here, went in and disconnected this hose right here. Disconnected this hose, which is not wanting to come off, there we go, and took it and drained it into a pan. And I'm going to cut to a video here so you can actually see the fuel flow. Now, as you noticed, there was not much fuel flow coming out of the hose there. That's not a very good sign. Also, one of the thing, other things I noticed is how much racket the electronic fuel pump is making. It's making a very heavy clicking sound. This can also be an indicator that you have a problem going on with your fuel system. The reason why I started right here <clears throat> was so I could eliminate from the injector pump all the way back to the fuel tank itself. Now this particular unit has a fuel filter up here, which is a secondary filter. Underneath the unit, it has an electric fuel pump, and then past that, it has a primary fuel pump, which then directly connects to the gas tank. <clears throat> the problem that I encountered had to do with that particular fuel filter. The primary fuel filter is down here at the gas tank. It was clogged. Uh, <clears throat> now I'm going to cut to a quick little thing to where you can see how well the fuel flows after replacing the fuel filter. Turn the key on <clears throat> to the on position. Do not turn to the run position. As you can see, we're getting much better fuel flow now. Very, very much better fuel flow. Now that you've seen the proper amount of fuel flow that should, should come through your fuel system, after you get everything put back together, you'll want to bleed the fuel system out. You'll do that using this 10 millimeter bolt right here. Pop it out about a turn or so. Turn the key to the on position without the motor running and let the fuel flow until it starts coming out of this bolt. Then you simply turn the key off and tighten the bolt. What that's going to do is bleed your system, make it a lot easier for your motor to start. Another way that some diesel motors you have to accomplish this is to take off this particular nut right here on top of your injector, take it out about a turn, pull up on your fuel line, and you can bleed out the system that way using the same procedure. Uh, different diesel motors yield different results. Uh, a lot of other motors also have a lot of different bleed points uh, the larger the motor gets. So keep that in mind. All right, next we're going to run down here underneath the unit. <clears throat> but first, before I do that, one of the things that you want to make sure that you do before getting underneath the unit to replace your fuel filter is you want to make sure that your fuel cap is installed. Tightly installed, that way you can test if your fuel tank is operating properly. If you'll notice here on the top, there's a fuel tank vent. Uh, what we're going to do underneath, I'm going to show you just real quickly how to diagnose the tank at the same time while you're down replacing the fuel filter just to make sure you're not going off there after uh, the wrong thing. So here we go. Now I'm underneath the unit looking from the front to the back. Here is your fuel pump itself. Here's your primary fuel filter. And then here's your piping that goes to your fuel tank. All you have to do is replace this filter by getting rid of this clamp and this clamp, pulling them out of the way. You want to get a clamp or something of that nature to be able to clamp down on this fuel hose. That way you'll be able to stop the fuel flow from the fuel tank. After you get your filter out, I recommend putting a pan underneath to catch fuel that's going to come out from your fuel tank. What this is going to do, once again, like I said a second ago, is going to check your fuel fuel cap vent to make sure it's operating properly and also to make sure you don't have any restriction from here back to your fuel tank. Pop this off, let it drain for a good little bit, make sure you're getting full flow out of this hose from your fuel tank. Also, you want to make sure you have some fuel in your tank before you try this. That way you, you don't accidentally have an empty tank or anything like that. So pretty straightforward on that. Not a whole lot going on. A difficult spot to get to there. There's a skid plate that actually goes right here that makes it very hard to access. Uh, this particular tractor has right around 150 hours on it and this fuel filter was completely clogged to where it would barely even come out. It would barely even drip out from the fuel tank itself when disconnected from the fuel pump. And since, <laughs> since this item needs to be replaced so often, I highly recommend relocating to this, this filter to a different spot. I'll show you what I'm thinking about doing. Remember one thing is important about relocating, relocating a fuel filter. And that is of course that it's there for a reason to protect your fuel pump. So you actually have to run some piping in different directions and whatnot to make that happen. 
uh, but you definitely want to make sure that your filter is still before your fuel pump coming out of the fuel tank. Here's the old fuel filter just so you can kind of see what's going on here. As you can see it's very dirty. Definitely cause of what was going on. It's very difficult to blow through as well which is a good test to just blow through it and see if you can actually get air to go through it. Actually but when I pulled the fuel hose off of it on the fuel pump side it, the fuel would not even drip out. So I just wanted to show you that really quickly as well. Back over here to the unit itself. <clears throat> as far as where I plan to relocate that fuel filter, I plan to put it somewhere in this area. Just a nice spot where I can see it really well and get to it in the future. A lot of folks have had issues with this that I've found throughout my research actually trying to figure out what's going on with this tractor as well. So I figured I'd make a video on it. So I hope this was helpful and y'all have a good one. Thank you.